And today, we will going to integrate the following equation given to us. Our number 1 is the integral of 4 sine x dx. First step is we will move out 4 and use the property of the integral which will give us 4 times the integral of sine x dx. After that, we will evaluate the integral and make the integral of sine x dx equal to negative cosine of x. Therefore, will give us 4 times negative cosine of x. And then, we simplify 4 to negative cosine of x and add the constant which will give us negative 4 cosine of x plus c. And now, let's proceed to the second number which the given is integral of quantity 2 raised to x minus x minus 1 over 8x squared dx. On this equation, let's use the property of integral separating 2 raised to x and x minus 1 over 8x squared. On the first part, which is the integral of 2e raised to x dx, move out number 2 outside, which will give us 2 times the integral of e raised to x dx. After that, we will simplify it to get 2e raised to x, which is our answer. Moving on to the second part, which we will focus to the negative integral of x minus 1 over 8x squared dx. Let's use the property of integral and move 8 which will give us negative 1 over 8 times the integral of x minus 1 over x squared dx. After that, separate the fraction into two fractions resulting negative 1 over 8 times the integral of x over x squared minus 1 over x squared dx. And after that, simplify the expression to get negative 1 over 8 times the integral of 1 over x minus 1 over x squared dx. And let's use again the property of integral to separate the expression which will be negative 1 over 8 times the integral of 1 over x dx minus the integral of 1 over x dx. And after that, let's evaluate the integral to get the integral of 1 over x dx equal to ln of absolute value of x and the integral of 1 over x squared dx equal to 1 over x. And then, let's simplify or distribute the negative 1 over 8 to integral of ln of absolute of value of x plus 1 over x, which will give us negative 1 over 8 ln of absolute value of x minus 1 over 8x. Now we got the integral of both parts. Let's sum it up and add the constant. Therefore, our final answer for number 2 is 2e raised to x minus 1 over 8 ln of absolute of value of x minus 1 over 8x plus c. Moving forward to the last part which is number 3, the integral of 7 raised to 3x plus 1 minus 3x raised to 5 minus x cubed minus 1 over 2x dx. Just like what we did to number 2, use the property of integral to separate 7 raised to 3x plus 1 and negative 3x raised to 5 minus x cubed minus 1 over 2x. At the first part, which is the integral of 7 raised to 3x plus 1 dx, first, let's use the substitution t should be equal to 3x plus 1 to transform the integral into the integral of 7 raised to t times 1 third dt. After that, we will use the property of integral and move 1 over 3 outside the integral, which will give us 1 third times the integral of 7 raised to t dt. The next step is we will use the formula of in the integral of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over ln of a to evaluate the integral. So we will get 1 over 3 times 7 raised to t over ln of 7. After the evaluation, we will substitute back t into 3x plus 1. And we will multiply it to 1 over 3. So our answer for the first part is 7 3x plus 1 over 3ln of 7. Now let's prove on to the second part which will be the negative integral of 3x raised to 5 minus x cubed minus 1 over 2x dx. Just like the rest, we will use the property of integral and move 2 outside which will give us negative 1 half times the integral of 3x raised to 5 minus x cubed minus 1 over x dx. Next, we will separate this fraction into 3 fractions, which will give us negative 1 half times the integral of 3x raised to 5 over x minus x cubed over x minus 1 over x dx. The next step is we will simplify this expression to get the negative 1 over 2 times the integral of 3x raised to 4 minus x squared minus 1 over x dx. 
Again, we will use the property of integral which will separate this into 3 which will give us negative 1 half times the integral of 3x4 dx minus the integral of x squared dx minus the integral of 1 over x dx. And after that, we will evaluate the integral and we will get negative 1 half times the integral of 3x raised to 5 over 5 minus x cubed over 3 minus ln of, of absolute of value of x. We got 3x raised to 5 over 5 because we use the formula x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1. And now, we will distribute or simplify negative 1 half to the integral of 3x raised to 5 over 5 which will be negative 3x raised to 5 over 10. Negative 1 half times negative x cubed over 3, which will be positive x cubed over 6. And negative 1 half to negative ln of absolute of value of x, which will be positive 1 half ln of absolute of value of x. Therefore, our answer for this part is negative 3x raised to 5 over 10 plus x cubed over 6 plus 1 half ln of absolute of value of x. Now we got all of the integral answers. We will sum it up and add the constant. Therefore, our final answer for number 3 is 7 raised to 3x plus 1 over 3 ln of 7 minus 3x raised to 5 over 10 plus x cubed over 6 plus 1 over 2 ln of absolute of value of x plus c.